the palanquin on which the first minister Aniruthap Brahmariar was sitting made way for the crowd gathered in the moonlight. People standing aloof on both sides paid their respects to the Prime Minister. Many also aired their concerns about Prince. The Prime Minister also appeared with a worried face. But he raised both his hands and signalled to the people in a gesture of comfort and blessing. On reaching the front of the palace building the palanquin was lowered. The First Minister came out and first looked up. Seeing the Great Queen and Princess standing there, he saluted. Then, Duvantau looked towards the place where the battle took place. Vandiyathevan and Pinyagapani were fighting without knowing what was happening around them for so long. All Alwarkadayan came down and said something in the Prime Minister's ear. He looked at the attendants who had accompanied him and said, Imprison these rascals who are rioting in the palace courtyard at once. He commanded that, Alwarkadayan also led the crowd away with the servants. The Savaks caught hold of the two who were fighting and tied their hands with ropes. Alwarkadayan was idle when he imprisoned himself to make Jada towards Vandiyathevan. Anuruddha went upstairs. Standing there, looking at the people, he said, I know your anxiety and anger. The emperor and the queens were deeply distressed like you. You should not do anything to increase their anxiety. Arrangements have been made to search for the prince. All of you should return home in peace. We must see the emperor. The emperor must come back to Palasara, said one of the crowd. What is the fate of our village soldiers in Sri Lanka? Asked another. The emperor is safe in the Tanjore Palace. The palace where he is staying is now guarded day and night by the guards. I will bring the emperor to this city as soon as possible. Don't worry about our soldiers in Ceylon, the war in Elam is over with complete victory for us. Our soldiers will soon return. When the first minister announced that, there was a huge cheer in the crowd. The people returned after greeting Sundara Chola and Anuruddha with love. The first minister looked at the great queen and said, Devi, we have to talk to you about very important matters. Shall we go into the palace? Said. Turning to the princess and saying, Mother. I will come to you later, Kundave left for her abode. There were many worries in her mind now. If anyone in the Chola Empire was afraid of Kundeva, it was Prime Minister Anuradha. He is an eagle-eyed man. He has the ability to look into the hearts of the people in front of him and know their innermost thoughts. How much he knows, how much he doesn't know, the younger Brady was only confused about what to say to him and what not to say. His order to imprison the Vanara warrior and Pinyagapani enraged the princess. Couldn't even show it off. Vandiyathevan could not even intercede in front of that huge crowd. Are you going to come to me later? Come on, I'll take care of you. Sembian Mathavi was revered and respected by all in the Chola Empire. Chief Minister Aniruthap Brahmarir is no exception. However, the old woman acted with some kind of fear at this time. He sat down only after Anurudha sat down. Sir. For some time thunders have been thundering upon my head. Have you brought any such news? Or are you going to speak a word of consolation? He asked. Amini. I'm sorry. I can't answer your question. It depends on how you accept the message I've brought. He said he was a master of tactics. Is the news about Pawnee's wealth true, sir? I can't believe it. What did we believe about Arul Lishavarman? How many times have we spoken of him as the one born to rule this world under the shadow of an umbrella? Madam. It is true what they told me that the Josias say so. Ada Yen never denied them, nor agreed. Let it go, tell me now. Are you sure Samadra Rajan has robbed Pawnee's wealth? Who can say for sure, mother? Such news is sure to spread throughout the country and city. If that turns out to be true, what is the fate of this Chola country? What calamities will ensue? It seems that odds are not going to wait until it turns out to be true. Yes, yes. Rumors alone are enough to cause disaster. I have never seen the townspeople of Old Array storming into the palace in such a frenzy before. Don't think that this happened only in Fay Array, 
the city of Tanjavur has been in a state of chaos since yesterday. The soldiers refused to leave the emperor's palace. The people entered the fort in large numbers and surrounded the palaces of the royalists. They had to throw religious elephants at the people to make them disperse. Alas! What a perversity! What terrible news! It is a good thing that Madurand Hakkar has come to Padayere. Otherwise, the terrible curse would have followed him. Sir! You will be surprised to know how mad Hurand Hagen has changed. I won't be surprised, mother. They've all been known to me for some time. Even though you knew, you didn't even make an effort to change his mind. Now think about it and help. Mother! I don't think there is any need to change Mad Hurand Hagar's mind. I have come to speak in support of his party. So? I don't understand, sir. Ma'am. Mad Hurand Hagar considers this Chola lionship to be his own. He wants to rule this kingdom after the emperor. It is a legitimate desire, a desire well rooted in his mind. Trying to prevent it will not benefit the Chola kingdom. The best thing is to fulfill it. Oh! What is this word? You have dared to betray the Chola Emperor? What perverse time is this? Madam! I have never dreamed of betraying the Emperor. I have come on the Emperor's orders. I am telling you what he asked you to apply for. After the Emperor's time, Madhurand Hakkar wants to ascend the throne. The Palyavetare are plotting for it. But the Emperor now wants to leave the crown to Madhurand Hagar and leave the throne. Get their consent for this. He has sent me to come. The Emperor may wish to do so. But my consent will never be obtained. I will not agree to this thing against my will. First Minister who has seen the shores of the Ocean of Education. How come you have come to tell me this wrong thing, even though the Emperor himself said it? about the right of the Chola throne to some who only they and I know. Have you completely forgotten that there are facts? Amini. I have not forgotten anything. I know some facts that they do not know. That is why I have come to them as the Emperor's messenger. Sir. Their Madi technique and royal tricks are known to the world. Do not show them to me as a woman. Madam. I did not come to argue with them. I did not come to show my virtue. I came to pray to save this Chola nation from disaster. Offer their prayers to the Lord of the Crescent, or pray to their favorite deity, Vishnu Murthy. Yes, Mother. Ambalathan and Arangatha will have to save this country if they don't act big. What danger, then, has come to this country? How can it be prevented by Madhurand Hagen climbing the lion? Listen, Purumati. Just as the city of Mandar is boiling today, the people from Kanchapuram to Rameswaram will be boiling with rage in two or three days. And it will not be over. I know that Bhuthivikramaksari has already set out from Ceylon with an army. When the news reaches Aditha Karikalan, he will not wait. He will leave for Tanjavur with an army from the north. The Palyavetareus and other petty kings are already gathering their forces. There will be a terrible family fight in this country like the war between the Kauravas and the Pandavas. All their relatives will perish. Are you going to watch all this? Sir. Wise First Minister. I do not have anyone as a close relative. You must have heard about Mahapurusha Sankara who incarnated in the Western Hill Country. He has blessed that. My mother is Parvati Devi. My father is Paramashiva. My cousin Shiva devotees, I have no other balls in this world. Amini. Let me remind you of the fourth verse blessed by Sankara in the same verse. He has also said. The land of our birth, three worlds for us, will you watch your own country be destroyed by civil strife? My own country is dearer to me than all the three worlds. But is this vast coal island our own country? Not a day. The country up to Kailangirai in the north is my country. If there is no place in the Chola country, I will go to Kashi Kshetra, I will go to Kashmir and Kailasa. I have been thinking of starting such a pilgrimage for a long time. Help it! Ada Yen dreamed that they were going to stop the mobs from demolishing the temples. 
help make that dream come true. Please agree to grant the title to Madhurand Hagar and help us to avoid matrimonial strife in Chola Nadu. Hearing this, Sembian Mathavi was deep in thought for a while. Then, sir. You have disturbed me by telling me things that this evil woman does not understand. If such a danger is to befall this holy land of India, what can this woman do except that Sarveswaran should see it and prevent it? I will never forget what my husband told me when he joined the Lord. I will not. I will not do anything contrary to that. Said. So now I must reveal a fact that you have not known until now. Said Anuradha. At this time, Madhurandhagan came stumbling in there and said, Mother. What is this I am hearing? Has Aroma's Hivarman been carried away by the sea? He asked. Madam. Comfort your rich sons. I will say what I wanted to say another time, said the first minister and left. As he crossed the threshold, he said, Here you go, this is my chief enemy. Has he not come to teach you while I am here? What Prince Madhurinthagan said fell on Aniratha's ears.